Uh, welcome back everyone to this new tutorial about Diablo Dungeon Generator. In this tutorial we, we are going to implement our logic uh, regarding the connections between the tiles because if we if we hit play we're in a, a, a starting tile heading south and nothing is going and not and all other tiles are starting tiles and they are not even oriented towards our direction so we we are going to take care of that real quick by that i mean the starting tiles heading south at first and then making sure the rest of the tiles are oriented towards the proper locations so the directions so if i'm heading on the Generate tile layout um, function. I can clearly see we are not taking care of anything regarding the direction. Uh, maybe we'll need uh, an input here asking if we want to. If we want a random next location or a a specified one uh, and maybe uh, I think that's what we need to do and yep that's what we are going to do so if I'm going on our content browser in utility we're going to create a new blueprint in them that's going to be a U uh, wanted direction and actually we're going to delete it and we're just going to go on our cardinal points enum and we are going to to add an enum saying random uh, and we are going to compile our level generator and we are going to hit play just to compile to force compile all of our tiles because they are been mar they have been marked as dirty when we modified the enum they were they, because they contain the enum we modified they were marked marked as dirty and we needed to recompile them so that's what we did and then find random next location we want to add a new parameter input this is going to be a cardinal point this is going to be our wanted direction and what is the first direction? What is the direction we want here? Uh, we're just going to say the first tile we put is going to be plugged directly to our start tile. So we need we need to tell it that if we're just if we just added our start style to our list of tile, we want to go south. For now, we're going to outcode that because we know our start tile is going south. So this is basically if the length of our if the length of our tile layout is equal to one we want to go south else we want to choose a random location so this is it and then we need to set up the function find random next location to take into account the new parameter we created so wanted direction um how are we going to do that we have locations to seek and actually actually we are going to say that we are going to duplicate that location to seek we are going to call that um, uh, filtered i'm not sure that's even layered uh, i mean uh, <laughs> How, how am I going to call that? For now, I'm just going to call that new. Location to seek new. This is going to be a map of Vic of of uh, directions. 
um, tile direction. And this is going to be cardinal cardinal points. And a, a T map of 2D vectors. Uh, vector 2D, we're going to have all of, of the location in here. North, south, east, west. So if we if we are going north, we're adding 1 to x. If we are going south, we're re reducing x. East, we are going right. West, we are going left. We're we are just going to make sure west and east are plus one and minus one respectively. So if I'm putting a dead end going east in here and I'm adding to it y, it's going east, so y should be plus 1x, yes, that's it, that's properly set up. So, if the wanted direction is, run, is random, we want to loop through all of the location we have. I'm just going to build that on the side for now. We want to loop through all the location we have. We want to find the corresponding 2D vector. And then we want to replace our previous loop by the new one. So if it's random, we want to take the, the 2D vector reset up. And like this, we can get rid of this loop. So. We are, we are looping through all our locations. That should work like before. But if it's not random, we are actually going to seek in here the location, the direction we asked for. We ask it for. <coughs> and we are going to just return that location like this. So. Just doing this should make it so the first tile spawn on south. I'm going to uh, to increase my camera size again because I want to see the, the other tiles. After the south, it should have go. Okay, it should have. The rest should be random. It should still be random. I'm going to get rid of the of these walls because they're making me unable to check that everything is working as I'm expecting. I'm just going to get rid of these. I mean, I mean, no, I'm not going to get rid of them. I'm just going to make them smaller just so I can pass through them. So compile time takes long still because I have lots of child blueprints. Usually long. It's it's unusually long. I think I'm having an error in my output log displaying right after right after that. We still need to uh actually what do we need to do now we need to spawn the proper we need to make it so mm. damn why is it taking so long <laughs> 